Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves for the Sony PlayStation 3. And this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a webcam and Twitch streaming project that I'm also uploading on YouTube. Some of you might be watching me live on uh, Twitch right now. Some of you may be watching this posted later on YouTube. So hey, it's all good, right? You can't miss out. Uh, this is Bailey, my companion, my faithful, loyal dog. How you doing, Bailey? Look at this guy. <laughs> what? Here. How you doing? Um, before we start, couple notes. I gotta... Okay, very good. Alright, Bailey. A couple things I have to say. Uh, first off, uh, my wife, Ty, was, like, busting her ass, uh, kind of setting things up while I was, I don't know what I was doing all day. Uh, but she was setting up a couple of nice things to make, I don't know, just to make the stream look a little better. Uh, certain notifications, you might see them happen. So, yeah. And I think they're cool, and I think they look good, and I don't think it'll get in the way of anything. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going with a webcam, like I said, with this game. I don't think my webcam is going to get in the way too much. I mean, you know how it is. Uh, it's fairly small. I'm going with upper right-hand corner. Uh, and I don't think it should get in the way. We'll see. Of course, if any adjustments need to need to be made, you know, there will be adjustments. But I wanted to make sure that hopefully there won't be any adjustments because I wanted things to be, like, awesome from the get-go. Uh, I'm doing the stream just like I streamed Final Fantasy IX, and there was some sync problems and stuff like that. And those sync problems are taken care of. So, um, when, you know, when I was reading dialogue, I would read it slightly before you would see the boxes pop up. That should be gone now. Uh, my wife actually figured that out. And yeah, everything should be in sync and awesome. Other than that, I have one more thing to say. I have never played Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. I've never played Uncharted 2 or the first one or 3. I've never played the Uncharted series because, I don't know, man, I just never, never have. Uh, my wife was telling me, play the game, it's good! You know, just like she was saying, that's how she talks. She'll appreciate that. Um, just like she was always telling me to play Mass Effect. Uh, and I did. I, I started and I played Mass Effect 2 and I, I love the series, good stuff. So I'm started, I'm starting with Uncharted 2 as well. And yeah, I'm aware that Uncharted 4 is coming out. So I'm sure I'm going to like the game. I'm sure I'm going to like the series. Maybe I'll move on to 3 after this. Uh, yeah, that's what I hear. Uh, I'm checking out the chat. People are like, yeah, this, this is a great game. Um, that's why I started with 2. If someone suggested what Mass Effect game to start with first, what are you going to say? Mass Effect 2. Just like this, I guess. Uncharted 2. So, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, I've never played this game, so uh, some of you may know this game very well. I don't know anything. Uh, the only thing I did set up was my controller system. I haven't played. I haven't played the game. Uh, there's going to be cutscenes. I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes. That's always been my style. Um, so, you know, that that's it. And, uh, right, Bailey? Are we ready? Oh, no! Oh, no! So there we go. I guess we're good, and uh, hopefully we have no problems, and if a problem arises, hopefully we can take care of it. And I'm going to be uploading this uh, onto my YouTube channel, Dave the Usher, in parts. You know, like a walkthrough. People are asking if there's going to be a, a dog cam. Uh, probably not at the moment, no. Not at the moment. Alright, bud. What do you want to do? Uh, let's start. I'm going to start. He's going to jump down. You want to jump down? Okay. All right, here we go, guys. This is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Let's do it. Uh, so like I said, I already, you know, got everything good and the options ready to go. Subtitles will be on. I'm just going to start a new game. Uh, I guess I'll... Oof. Crushing. Should I do crushing? That's a good idea, right? I'm going to go with normal, I guess. Yeah, normal's fine. A normal kind of guy. So, uh... I got some tea here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all night, man. I don't know. We'll see how long we go. We'll see how long we go. I'm gonna go a couple hours for this first stream. It's about a little after 8 p.m. And here we go. This will be fun. This game was released in 09, I believe. Yeah. Spinny thing. 
wife says we can set up a Bailey cam next time. Thank you, Marco Polo. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking during the cutscenes. in a hard place. Chapter 1, I guess. I've never played this, man. So, this is our guy. His name is Mr. Guy. Like like I said, I don't know anything, man. So, this will be fun, right? Okay. Um, let's... We gotta climb up this thing. Let's do it. I mean, I've played games like this. I think I'll pick it up as I go. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of The Last of Us. And I'm a big fan of the Mass Effect series, and, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, oh, no. oh no! What happened? How did how did he end up like this? Ah. I'm just gonna adjust my volume. Turn it up a little bit. There we go. I wonder... Whoa! I wonder if we take our uh, time too much, we just get killed and we have to do things over again. Yeah, I guess I, I have uh, The Last of Us on our mind. Yeah, I'm jumping. Like, uh, if you dawdle too much or you, you make an oopsies, it's like, ah! And then they restart you. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be something like that. You know you're going the right way if stuff continues to happen, right? How's everyone doing in the stream? I'll, I'll talk to you guys uh, as we go. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. All right, okay. Just do a little swing in action. Maybe I need to... Okay. Ah, okay. The controls are fine. You know, it's it's a good system. I get it. It's pretty standard stuff, really. A lot of third persons kind of, you know, it's similar. I'm sure we'll be crouching, we'll be jumping, we'll be... We'll get our guns and we'll do our aim and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to get out of this hole. Climb. <laughs> there you go. Jurassic Park 2, anybody? Kind of? A little bit? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Jump! <laughs> Jump! I wonder if there's a let go button. this guy end up in this uh, there we go this position
It's hard. It's hard doing a walkthrough kind of thing of a game you've never played before, man. Oh, oh no! Oh! Bailey, it's okay. <laughs> I thought I was just jumping off the other side there. Alright, this is good. Come on! So this is good. One thing I do know, this guy's kind of like a Indiana Jones type of dude, right? Whoa. He died. So, yeah, okay, like I predicted. Did I not make it? I need to go faster there. Is there a run button, or? That's not running. Things are marked with the color yellow if you want to look into, look into something to grab. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's... Why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. 
Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in, then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Oh my! Well, that's a that's a cool beginning. Yeah, let's get that treasure. Uh, like I said, guys, if you're tuning in late, I've never played this series before, so I don't know if those two characters, one or both, have appeared in the first game prior to this one. I'm just waiting for the traitor, because there's always a traitor, or like the the dude, or the, you know, the person that's like undercover, or they scree over, or something like that. Okay, camera angles up and down, up and down. Everything's good. Hello up there. It's cold. It's cold. What if we do this? I had to do it one time. Ah! Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh. Let's get going here. How you guys doing in the? How you guys doing in the chat there? Yeah, I guess this is just gonna be like without the zombies. People talking about The Last of Us. How can I not be dead? I would assume without the zombies, but yeah, maybe not. Okay, um. I don't like that. Let's. I also feel like when objects move, you kinda check out the area. Like the game's giving you hints, maybe. We've noticed that in the last scene when I was climbing up, right? Oh! Diving. Punching. Okay. I'm sure I'll be shooting stuff soon. Oh, man. Oh, look. The dead guy. Oop, that's... Oh, here we go. We are ready to shoot things. We're ready to shoot things, man. I'm gonna shoot something right now. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the ear. How do you reload? That's how you reload. Okay, good stuff. Now let's see here. Um, in here, maybe. No. Ah, okay. Good old time. Yeah, and it can't be cold if everything's on fire, right? I mean, if everything's burning around you, yeah, at least you're not freezing to death right now at the moment. This is a good thing. <clears throat> of course it's locked. It's always locked. Yeah. Isn't it just so much fun shooting things? Violence in video games. Shut up. Shut up with a angry mothers and all that all that crazy people man Mortal Kombat 2 oh no how do I duck all right cool I, I got gotcha. you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man when Mortal Kombat 2 came out for the Sega Genesis Super Nintendo shitstorm of mothers complaining about violence Ah. Good stuff. And you release with, uh, the release with the circle button. Okay, alright, uh, let's go. <clears throat> We're gonna do it, man. Here we go. Hi there. Oh, his name is uh, Nathan Nathaniel. What was it? Ah, we're climbing. Yeah, it's a cool game. Uh, by the way, guys, I was I was gonna do this or Mass Effect Two, 
and I was asking on my social media pages, I finally decided to go with... This guy's a good jumper. It's cool, Batman. Hm. I'm sure there's gonna be, like, items along the way, some I might miss. Yeah. Um... And there might be some stumbling around as you... Oh, there we go. <clears throat> there might be some stumbling. Am I dead? So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Let's do it. My wife's in the back peeking in. Uh, apparently, sometimes cutscenes might desync, so hopefully everything's good now. But if not, I don't know. Yeah, let me know. Here we go. Everything always runs so smoothly. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Let's get somewhere. Climb that? Uh, okay. This way. Seems like it's good now. Alright, here we go. I need to... I like how I'm stuck here. Alright. Oh! No, that's probably bad. I was probably about to die there. Whoa, where do you want me to go, man? This will get me killed. Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Probably, yeah, climb up that. Let's see. Uh, there's gonna be some fumblings around, like I told you guys. Here, maybe climb out a window. Maybe I need to... Here, there we... Oh, hmm. Maybe hang off and then slide around? I feel like I'm exhausted.
exhausting. Jump out and my wife's telling me to jump out and catch the bar. The bar that yellow bar? I don't know if I can. Uh, that bar? Oh man. Alright. Catch it! There you go. <sighs> yeah, someone told me something about yellow objects. I don't know if that's going to be a recurring theme, like a lot of yellow objects. I actually heard my wife laugh at me downstairs when I did it. I actually I heard her laughing at me just a couple oh. seconds ago. That's great. Wife's laughing at me. She, uh, My wife totally knows. This is her game. She's played this series. She knows it very well. Oh! Oop. That was a little too loud. <laughs> Alrighty. I just want to shoot people, man. We got to get you healthy, dude. I don't like this. Oop. Sure, you're up for this. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Okay, this is what I was hoping for. So, that happens. We're going back to this. We're about to pull this job and all. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I was hoping for. Uh, also, hopefully that sink issue doesn't happen again with my mouth. And, you know, the desyncing because of cutscenes or whatever. Hopefully that was a one-time thing. If not, let me know. And, you know, whatever. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, okay, so let's do it. Just kind of fumbling around here. How you guys doing? 
Yeah, it reminds me. Remember the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy. If this was a normal walkthrough, that would have been an edit, and I would have cut that out in uh, editing. Because that's how I do things. I'm telling you, man, one of these people is going to be a traitor. I'm thinking the chick. She's just got the raspy, evil voice. I wonder who's the actress uh, voicing her. I know it's somebody. I just don't know who. All right. Uh, 